Pastor Roy, Bishop Roy Olson, let's see what else. Oh, missionary Roy Olson to Romania and beyond. I would like to speak to the youth today. Uh, I have an idea, I have a suggestion, I have a thought. And uh, I would like to speak in a little Romanian also. Eu vorrei vorbesc cu tineret prin aceste film. Pentru eu vorbesc romanește. And many of you speak English. We only have one life, not, not two, we have one life. That's it, right there. And uh, there comes a time when we make choices. We make choices. We can choose to do what tradition says, what our parents did, and uh, kind of fit into the mold, or we can perhaps look to God. Ask God. Don't tell God, ask Him. Um, I wanted to be a nuclear physicist. That's why I took my degree in physics and mathematics. But then I had an encounter with God and uh, it changed my whole direction of life, my whole purpose of life. I no longer wanted to use the one life I have, this one here, or is it this one here? I use the one life that I have for something of eternal consequences. There are many physicists. There are many mathematicians. I'm not one of them. What am I? Well, since I had that divine encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, in confirming His Word, I decided to give my life to the service of the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Am hotorit viatsa mia es pentu domizeo, pentu tata fiu shi And so, uh, when I graduated after four and a half years, I went to the mission field. There was an opportunity to go, and I seized the opportunity. And it was the opening of a whole new way of life. And I have been involved in ministry in one sort of another since then. Well, while I was in college, every summer, I was a counselor or a head counselor at a camp called Pilgrim Camp. And uh, that was wonderful, wonderful times. Easy? No. Worth it? Oh, yes. Yes. And then I became a, um, a Sunday school superintendent, and then an assistant pastor, and then I became a pastor of a church in New York City, and I've gone through the vicissitudes of life. I've been up, I've been down. Uh, as one uh, seasoned minister, Charles Stanley, said, the things I've learned in the mountaintop, I don't remember. The things I've learned in the valley, I cannot count. And so every difficult time is a learning time. And as somebody said, if you're going to fall, fall forward. <laughs> well. I have probably fallen forward enough uh, to uh, get a couple kilometers or miles under my belt. But then today we are ministering in Romania, lucrăm in uh, Romania, in a place called Apavia, in uh, Sarpeștere, Caras Severin, and uh, we own four and a half acres. And we do camps, we do conferences. Why am I saying this? Because 
People are wonderful. They, they respond. They're hungry. They're thirsty. It's like a, it's like a dry sponge uh, looking for a, a word from God, a word from the Holy Spirit, a, a touch of the Master's hand. And uh, by God's grace, through the ministry, we can do that. And now I'm seven, 78 years of age. When I think of a man 78 years of age, I think of an old man. And I'm not an old man. But I, I just appeal to you young people. Um, when, you, when you come to choices in life, and you do have to make choices. Choose to dedicate your life, whatever your skills, whatever your talents. It doesn't matter whether you have a golden uh, silver spoon in your mouth or how the expression goes or, or, or whether you, you have difficulty in uh, uh, speaking to, to groups. That's not the issue. The issue is whatever you have. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice. And that's acceptable unto God. And, if I may add, as the apostle, it's, it's the reasonable thing to do after what God has done for you. And so this is God's want and in some way. And if you don't know where to go, contact me and... Uh, Lord knows what God will do in the future with a life wholly given to Him. God bless you. My name is Pastor Roy, Missionary Roy, Bishop Roy, or whatever you choose. God bless you, and I'll be back. Goodbye.